Today we're gonna to be installing a backup camera system in the RV, but not just any backup camera. RearViewSafety.com has been kind enough to send us not one, not two, not three, but a four camera setup for our RV and a nine inch monitor in our dash so we can see everything all at once. But let's get started with the install. My intentions when I was setting this up on the bench were to make sure I understood how everything worked. That's pretty easy. So they've got this set up where all you do is apply, apply positive and negative 12 volts to the monitor and it automatically powers everything else. Of this entire bundle of wires, all I have to hook up are just the positive and negative leads. But they have the option if you want, uh, when you put in reverse or when you turn on your signals, all you do is touch power to that and it goes to that camera so that you can see it full screen and then it's on a timer and then it comes back to the four camera view. My first impressions of this system are off to a great start. First of all, dead simple to set up. Second, I wish you guys could feel how heavy duty <laughs> these cameras are. So the question is where on the RV? Do I want to go as far back as the very rear corner or do we want it somewhere closer up here? Honestly, I'm thinking since the majority of use is for the trailer, stick them right back here. Although if I put them here, then I have a little bit of the rear of the RV when the trailer is not attached. I may actually just drag a battery out here and hook it up so I can actually see what it's gonna look like. Okay, so this would be a car in my blind spot. I think we put them back here. Yeah, I think we put them back there, that's it. Actually running these wires and routing them in places and fastening them to the frame is going to be one of the more boring and tedious parts of this video. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna do that and then afterwards I'll take the camera through and show you how I did it. Okay, I got my wires successfully run all the way up into the front. I don't know if you can see them through there. Uh, it took me a couple hours. It wasn't too bad because each of my compartments here in the basement has like a ceiling panel that you can pull off, but there's a firewall in between each one. So I had to drill through each firewall, come all the way forward, go under, come underneath, and then finally came out here in the cockpit of the RV. So we can start hooking up our cameras and then we're gonna remove this old Sony monitor and put in the new one. So it looks like there's two ways you can install these cameras. They have a bracket that you can put on or uh, there's like some 3M adhesive and some bolts that can go through the side panel and I'm gonna go with the uh, tape and bolt through method just because I'd like to have it as flush as possible with the side of the RV. I don't know if you need screws in that. That is really on there. And then that's what we ended up with on the inside. Next up is the rear backup camera on the RV. And our coach came with this old black and white one from the 90s. Let me see how I can modify this, maybe to accept the bracket for the new camera. All right, so this is what I got out of it. That's what I'll do. I'll dremel that whole part out so the camera sticks out. Not too shabby. I'm just using self-tapping screws to go through the plastic into that bracket. That's it. Well, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. It's about as close to original as I think you're gonna get. Next up is removing the dash and removing this old monitor and then seeing how we're gonna retrofit the new one in. Normally, I would probably trim this around and put it inside, but I don't know if this dash being so brittle is gonna handle sawing like that. For now, I'm just gonna screw this through and then it'll pop right in. Okay, I've got all the wires hooked up on the back here. Just sitting here to see if everything works and I'm about to turn it on. Here we go. Got power, it's a good sign. 
Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Got all three. I'm just missing the uh, the trailer, but obviously because that's not hooked up. This is amazing, I'm so excited. And it's the perfect size, you can see everything great. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo, that is nice. That looks awesome. All right, now I'm going to go button up the wires in the back and go hook up to the trailer. For the quick connect plug, they give you this cool little bracket that goes on the back of your RV. On the trailer side, I actually had Lark do something a little different and mount the receiver side directly on the trailer itself. So it's nice and flush. All right, that's it, it is in. Do we have four cameras? Yes! Look at that. Beautiful. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a demo of this backup camera system, and I thought, what better place than in an RV park? Because that's where, you know, things are in tight quarters, and these backup cameras come real, really in handy. So we're pulling out of our campground right now, and I've got all the cameras on. And you'll see why the placement of these blind spot cameras is perfect. And I highly recommend it because they're not blind spot cameras for me. They are what I'll call like curb, curbside cameras or something. So as we come around, actually we got it just fine. You can see now I know I'm clear of that CRV. And this is really helpful for when we're going around turns. Uh, it would be right hand turns on narrow streets because the curb and the sidewalk you gotta swing really wide. This camera, my right blind spot camera or curb camera, is the perfect location to see when I've cleared it or if I need to swing just a little bit wider. Also, unexpected benefit is when I'm going down the road, the two blind spot cameras, if you look at my left and right, left and right, right now, it shows me that I'm centered perfectly in this road, which on this road it's easy, but if um, you know there's a truck coming on a one lane highway, I can look, quickly look down, see, make sure that my rear tire is on my side of the line so that we don't accidentally sideswipe each other. So we got a little bit of a ride out here. I'll show you my favorite view when the trailer is disattached, not attached, disattached. It's this one, left, right, because when that trailer's not there, basically what you get is a blind spot and a backup camera because these are so far to the rear of the RV, uh, you can hardly see the back of it. And so it's this nice wide screen that is basically like an ultra wide angle backup camera. Also an unexpected benefit of putting these so low and so far back in the RV. So I'm saying this all to say, you know, I was concerned about where to place those blind spot cameras front or back. Back of the RV was the bright choice. When I change lanes, what I do is I turn on my blinker. I look in my mirror, make sure there's no car there. Look quickly at my right camera, make sure there's no one there. Then look quickly at my back camera to see where the nose of the car behind me is, and I can see clearly that it's there's no cars anywhere on my right side, so I can merge lanes safely. And that's how it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we have been using this now for, what, over a month? And I wouldn't go without it. If I couldn't afford four, I might go just two cameras, left and right, because like I said, because when those two are side by side near the rear, it's almost a backup camera in itself. So you don't get the down view but I think I would take blind spot cameras over a backup camera. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Once again, we want to thank rearviewsafety.com for sending us this system. We couldn't be happier with it. Super easy to install and the quality is just top notch. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching. Bye.